Hello, in this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at an element from Protoposta called Carbon Fiber HD PLA Dark Grey. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is, is from Protopasta, like I said, and called Carbon Fiber HD PLA Dark Grey. It's a quite nice looking filament. But let's have a look at the label and see what it says. So here they say the Protopasta team has put together an exceptional guide rather than summarizing. We are pointing you there and to their website with Makerbox. Um, there they have the best settings uh, and, and how to print this material. And I ended up printing at normal PLA settings, except uh, hot and temperature was 225, and that has given me good results with protopasta filaments before. But here they say for exceptional accuracy, finish, and performance, choose carbon fiber protopasta carbon fiber composite HT PLA. That's a quite a name <laughs> in a combination of my um, milled carbon fibers and high performance PLA, resulting 3D print that prototypes and end use parts are characterized by exceptional form stability up to 160 degrees or 320 Fahrenheit when heat treated and more information on, on their website protopasta.com slash megabox so that's a label but let's have a look at the prints so first I have a bunch of print samples <laughs> and those are the brake tests and I used my brake test apparatus to check on the strength of this filament and compared to normal PLA uh, it's a bit weaker the average uh, value for this brake test was about 10 kilos when average on PLA was 26 kilos for quite a number of different PLAs so I believe the carbon fiber is not helping with layer adhesion but uh, those were I decided to test it because I haven't uh, got uh, PLA before with uh, carbon fiber to test, so I want to know how it was. So that was like a synthetic test. But then I printed a photogram, and that one came out excellent. There's a tiny amount of stringing, but nothing too serious. But otherwise, the surface quality is really nice. The surface finish and like the texture or feel of the material is really nice. And I believe the carbon fibers do a lot on having this filament uh, looking awesome. <laughs> it really it looks really great. Um, I did my maker coin as well. And that, as you can see, there is a tiny amount of stringing. So that's maybe the only complaint a tiny amount of stringing. It's very, like, very fine strands. Um, but the quality of the print um, and texture here in the face and, and the letters came out excellent. So print quality is, is pretty nice and looks really nice as well. Um, and then printed Mr. Belly. Um, it came out pretty nice as well. Some stringing as before, but this probably can be tuned a little bit, maybe lowering the temperature a little bit. But, uh, this was coming out excellent as well. Um, and I printed out another maker coin <laughs> and ran out of filament. <laughs> so that didn't finish, but it was looking quite nice. But uh, overall, as you can see the, the print surface finish and it's really like somewhat matte to the touch, <laughs> you could say. But, uh, you can, it's, a little, it's not as slippery as PLA, <laughs> but uh, the gray, dark gray color is really nice. So I was quite happy with this filament. So overall this filament gave me good uh, results. Uh, not a strong layer adhesion as, as normal clean PLA, but uh, surface finish and the look and feel of the filament is, is really great. And I can feel from the Mr. Belly leg breaking uh, test it's really stiff. I sometimes like squeeze this a little bit to get a feeling of the stiffness of the material and um, I can find it's quite stiff and um, I don't want to break him <laughs> sometimes I break him to pieces but um, overall uh, print quality is really nice and uh, it's very easy to get rid of the stringing I was getting or uh, with the heat gun or, or just tune in maybe retraction a tiny amount or, or heat but 
overall, uh, if you get the chance to buy this film, I would do so. It's looking excellent. But this will be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please subscribe and leave a comment and give me a thumbs up <laughs> or down if you're not happy. <laughs> no way. But, uh, for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.